Yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, I think it's, it was a short week and then obviously we, it was important for us that it was a short week because we wanted to get back on the field as quickly as, as we possibly could. Obviously, pressure in this game, it's early in the season, but this becomes almost a must-win game uh, for us. I thought the team, you know, we had uh, good preparation going into the match. I thought there was really good energy with the guys. I think there was some really some good uh, football that we played the first half against a very good team. And, you know, I think that, you know, with Guti, I think the kid's still a young player. Let's not forget this because he's a quality player. You see when he came in, uh, he was fresh. But, you know, I think we also have to be uh, how we manage him and manage his minutes. He's played a lot of minutes and there's also fatigue, uh, uh, not only the physical fatigue, the mental fatigue and the, the, the stress and the pressure with the young player. But, you know, I've talked to him. He came in and it was great to see him uh, energize and really be uh, aggressive. Uh, and that's when he's at his best, I feel, when he's just instinctively for him. But it was great to see him get the goal, but it was uh, overall just a really a huge win for, for the team. Uh, almost a must win early on. Uh, and now we have to go uh, enjoy this moment, regroup again, and prepare well for uh, to go on the road by a really good opponent in New York. And we have to find a way to get points on the road now. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Alexander with Real Talker. Um, Frank, a lot of aggressive play from early on. The guys were pushing from from the beginning, and, and the defense was they were really stuck on the on the players from uh, Houston. But there were some plays left on the field. I think Marin had one after the penalty kick early on, where he had a kind of a one on one breakaway, and then he passed it off. Would you have liked? them to push more maybe Tim take that shot at that point he had a pretty spot on shot on goal um how did you like the aggressiveness of the team and the pace but also do you think guys left out some plays no I think that uh, it was really good energy from the team and uh really aggressive uh from the start and obviously look I mean you plan to go team they they try to change a little bit the way they were building on play but the one thing that we talked about going into this game is that that we took away uh, as we looked at uh and it reflected on the last game in Atlanta, is that we broke their midfield line 72 times in that game, a lot more than Atlanta did. They were 61. But then in the final third, we penetrated only nine times. So we were not as aggressive. So I've talked to the guys. Uh, and, and, and sometimes, look, I think it's just, uh, I, I saw that in that game that I felt that the team did not look fresh. Tonight, we were fresh. We were dynamic. But of course, when you get a moment in the final third, you know, I want the players to be aggressive. I want them to take, I don't care if they lose the ball. You know, unless, I mean, obviously, if there's someone wide open and you do that, of course, always you have to select, make the best decision. But we need to be aggressive. You know, the game comes down in moments like that in 1v1 situations when you can beat your opponent, then then, then you make it really difficult for the opponent. So we get in good spots. I want to continue to be aggressive. You know, we created, we created chances, mm -hmm. you know, um, against a good team. You know, they had also their chances. And, you know, I wish we would have had the, the clean, seat, clean sheet in the end. Uh, but overall, I felt uh, you know the performance as a whole was was very good, and that's what you need to get uh, get a result, you know, which we didn't have in the last game. All right. Thank you. Tim Hossie, the Red Ninety-Seven. Um, so speaking about that, it was once again it felt like an individual moment where there was one play that was the team. Uh, what did you think about the team's defensive performance, and what do you think could be tightened up? Yeah, I mean, I think I think when you look at the goals we give in, I think it's just. From a collective standpoint, I think we're in, in good spots, and, and I think just individual areas that we have to clean up, uh, and, and that's the thing. I don't point to one guy. I think overall it's a whole team that we need to improve. We really wanted to focus. I think it's important for us. We get chances. We're going to score goals, you know. But on the other hand, we need to be a better defensive team, like we were second half of the season last year. We were one of the best, uh, better defensive teams, you know. Even though we didn't make it, you can see the turnout. We need to get to that level again, and once we're there, then then uh, the W's and the results will, will start coming. But it starts from there. The mentality was good today. You know, we can always improve uh, individually the duels. I think that's one thing that we talked about again. Also, we need to win our duels. We need to win one v one situations. But there was really good energy from everyone today, uh, and I thought even I know came in. You know, we made some changes. I thought he hasn't played in a long time, but he helped us a lot in the build up. He's an experienced guy that gives us a lot of quality in the ball. 
And I think that, you know, we could have been even, I feel even more dangerous at, at, at certain moments, but he, 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 he brought a lot of quality into the field today. Any questions? Okay. One more? Yeah. Last question. Um, so, uh, with playing Supi on the right, you had Alan Eric on the start at the left, where he's played before in Lugano. Yeah. What do you think of his performance uh, from far? I thought it was a uh, really good, solid performance. I think they're really strong on that side with uh, Karaskia and uh, um, uh, and overlap Lappin with the, with the fullback. They're really dangerous. We try to force them on the other side. Uh, and they're on the left side, which is their weakest side, they try to pin them on one side, and of course they, they broke through, but it, 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 I, I felt he was excellent. And then this is the difficult part with us, because we have with Goodwin being out and also with Chase, I think now, you know, I have to put invert guys that, but at least with, with Alan, he's played it before, it's good that, uh, you know, with Arnaud, we've been able to get in minutes with the, with the second team to find his rhythm, because he wasn't with us in, in preseason, and you can see his quality, so, we're a different team, I think, for me personally, when, when Andrew or, or, or is there playing or even uh, Chase. When Andrew's there, you can just see we overload the left side, we become really dangerous, and Allen's on the right side. And then in, we get into the final third, our ability to get quality crosses in. So now, you know, it, I, I thought it was very good, and you're right. I had seen Allen play in Lugano, not naturally, but he likes to come inside and stuff like that. But he just matched up with Dorsey really well from a physical standpoint. Know, and uh, I thought he was solid, other than the last play in the end where he threw it to in the middle instead of down the line. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's forget about that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Coach. Okay, guys. Thank, Thank you, Coach. You.